Lectora variables are logical objects within a title that enable you to store, modify, and test values of numbers or strings during the runtime of a published title. You can conditionally perform actions in a title based on variable values, and you can also display variable values to the user. There are two types of variables, reserved and user-defined. Reserved variables are predefined and read-only, so they can be modified. They are items that are automatically included within your course and can be called upon at any time. By switching your title to AICC or SCORM compliant, you'll also see additional variables for interacting with your learning management system. User-defined variables need to be created and therefore can be edited at any time, giving you the ability to track and share almost anything in your course. Let's add a reserved variable to the course. From the Insert ribbon, select the Page Title option from the Add Text group. This adds a text block with an action attached. The action is an On Show action that changes the contents of the text block to the current page name. This is because Lectora has a reserved variable called Current Page Name that holds the value of the current page name so it's always available. To see a full list of the variables available, navigate to the Tools ribbon and select the Variables option from the Manage group. This opens the Variable Manager. From here you can see the User Defined, Reserved, and Unused variables on different tabs. Navigate to the Reserved tab to see all the variables that Lectora comes with. Select each variable from the menu on the left and the name type and description will appear on the right. If the variable is being used, you can also see where it is in your title on the Variables Used box. From the Variables Manager, you can also view and create user-defined variables. A common example of user-defined variables is one which tracks the progress of a learner on a particular page in order to queue additional actions or content. In this example, the instructions page of the course is set up so the learner has to select the options on the screen before moving forward. So let's create a user-defined variable that will help us do this. From the screen, add a new variable by selecting the corresponding button. The upper right-hand side of the screen is now accessible. Name the variable. Variable names cannot contain spaces and should make sense to the developer. I'm going to track the progress of the instructions page, so I'll name it after that. Select an initial value of the variable. This can be any combination of letters or numbers, however I'm going to leave it as is. Select the option to retain the value in between sessions, or assign a random value as needed. Select OK to save the variable. If it needs to be updated at any time, select it from the left hand side and then select the Edit button. Navigate to the page where the variable should go and attach it to certain actions. In this example, the learner must click on each picture to see the corresponding information before continuing. Select the first image and add an action. The action will be on mouse click modify the variable. From the target, use the drop down to find our instructions variable, then select the action which will take place. Set the variable equal to a value set it as empty, add, subtract, multiply, or divide the variable, round the variable, or round the variable down. For this example, I'll add 1 to the variable. From here, repeat the steps with the rest of the content on the page. In this example, the variable value is being added by one whole value, as items are being selected from left to right. However, it will also work if the images are selected right to left or in a random order. To call on this value, add another action onto the page that can use the variable to dictate when an action will take place. At the page level, add an action that says on show, show the next button. Then use the conditions action to set the visibility. From the set conditions action window, select the variable from the first dropdown. Then select the relationship. Since there are four images on the page in this example, the value is 4. 
This means that each item has been selected and therefore the user can continue through the course. Select OK to exit the window and save your changes. The Else option is now available. From here, select what will happen if this criteria is not met. Since the Next button will not be shown until all four images are selected, hide the Next button. This is just two examples of variables in Lectora that are used to create interactivity, include restraint, offer personalization, or display information to the learner. For more information, refer to the Information Center within Lectora.